Hi, everyone. This is Chris from Proving Grounds, and I'm going to show you a method to load maps, waypoints, airspace, and Proving Grounds tasks in XESOR in about five minutes. This requires a device running XESOR and an internet connection. Most often, this is an Android device, and XESOR is installed from the Google Play Store. So here's a brand new installation of XESOR with no maps, waypoints, or airspace loaded. First thing I do is download the files I need. Today, I'm going to use the Black Forest Soaring Society as an example. I'm going to double tap on the screen to bring up the menu. I'm going to tap on config. I'm going to tap on config once again to get to the second page. And then I'm going to tap on file manager. At the bottom of the file manager, I'm going to tap on add. And we'll see a list of all the files that you can download from XESOR. It starts with the .xem files, which are map files. I'm going to scroll down to the US files here, and we'll see a whole bunch. Uh, for Black Forest, we're going to use the US underscore Colorado file. So I tap on that and then tap Select, and we'll see it downloading. Next, I'm going to click on Add again, and I'm going to download the Waypoint and Task files. Waypoint Task files are .cup files. Uh, and we're going to scroll down past all the XCMs first, then through the cup files. I'm going to scroll past the United States .cup file down to these USA underscore proving grounds uh, files. There's three of them uh, one for regions one to four, five to eight, and nine to 12. And Colorado is in region nine. So we're going to tap on the USA underscore PG underscore region nine to 12 and then tap select at the bottom, and that file will download. Lastly, we're going to download the airspace files, and they are .txt. So we're going to scroll through all the XCMs, all the cup files, down the txt, and we're just going to use USA underscore airspace .txt. Tap on select, and then tap close. Next, we're going to point XESOR to these files. So we're going to double tap on the screen to bring out the menu, tap on config, then tap on system, and tap on the site files. And we'll start with the map database. Just tap on this white box, uh, and then tap US Colorado. And select at the bottom. We'll do the same for waypoints. And same for airspace. Now we're going to tap close at the bottom of the screen here. And then once again, and XESOR will load the terrain file. Now we can see we have a terrain file uh, underneath the uh, little airplane here. And uh, I'm going to zoom out a bit. And when we zoom out, we can see some airspace on the right side of the screen here. And there's also an airport meaning that our uh, waypoint file has been loaded. So next thing we want to do is load up the task into XESOR. So I'm going to double tap on the screen to bring up the menu, tap on nav, then tap on task. Now we can individually enter the uh, turn points in this screen, but I'm going to show you a little bit easier way. Uh, click on the manage tab at the top here. And then tap on Browse. Uh, if uh, you have a blank screen here, uh, most likely you need to tap on the More button down at the bottom right. So we're going to tap on More. And this brings up all of our USA Proving Grounds uh, Region 9 to 12 tasks. Black Forest is right at the top, which is handy. Uh, I'm going to load in the racetrack uh, task. Uh, and we're going to do exactly what's written in the page here. So starting at the intersection 83. With the race racetracks, we can uh, start at any point, and that's what these uh, last uh, parts of the name uh, note. So I'm going to start with intersection 83. I'm going to tap on that one, and then at the bottom of the screen, load. It's going to ask me if I want to load the task. I'm going to tap yes. And now the racetrack is uh, loaded into our XC store. You'll notice that all of the turn point types are cylinders. And all of the radius is one mile, which is 
the uh, requirements of uh, this proving ground setup. So we have that all set up properly. We're going to tap on close and close again. Lastly, I'm just going to pan to the uh, task and make sure it looks okay. And I'm going to zoom in a bit here. So we see intersection 83 and then to Dutch Gardens, to Albert High, D bar D, and then back to intersection 83. So that's all you need to do to load maps, waypoints, airspace, and proven ground tasks into XESOR.